Hey guys, it's Rihanna. So, um, oh, or Sunshine, depending on who you know me as. Um, I thought I would film a video for you guys because I just went shopping and I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, if you want, I guess. But the whole reason why I'm here is to educate people who don't really know what they're talking about. So this is basically going to be a video about the proper terminologies of piercing implements and types of jewelry. So yeah, so let me get my box. Okay. Now the first thing that I see a lot of has to do with stretched ears. These are not gauges. They are called steel eyelets. Not tunnels, because that's what you drive your car through, but these are called eyelets. They are called single flare eyelets because one of the sides is flared and one of the sides is not. So there's that. These are at a size half an inch, but that doesn't really matter. I don't know why. I, I just thought I'd say that. These are double flare eyelets. See? Both sides are flared, and they're both steel, and you can see right through them. However, these are plugs. Not gauges. Plugs. They are double flared. I don't have a pair of single flared plugs, but these are called tapers. Tapers are not meant for stretching or wearing because tapers, basically, if you wear a taper in your ear, it is going to cause a wonky stretch and no one wants that. I just get that out of my ear. I don't have the ends to this, but this is called a circular barbell. There would usually be two ends on this. This is externally threaded. I don't have an internally threaded piece to show you guys, but I will hopefully have one soon. But this is a not a horseshoe. Horseshoes are things that horses have on their feet. This is called a circular barbell. This, I also don't have the bead to it, is called a captive bead ring. Not a ball ring or whatever else people call it. I, I hear way too many times improper terminology, it just makes me want to go... <sighs> you know, and these... are called silicone ear skins because they are very squishy. <laughs> They're cute. I don't know. Just squishing these makes me happy. Does that sound weird? I hope not. Well, I'm not. Well, I'll put that in later. Um, this is called a septum clicker, not a septum ring. Thought I'd educate you on that. Same with this little guy right here. Circular barbell, not a horseshoe. Even if it has the pointy ends right th like this, it's still a circular barbell. I don't have a straight barbell, but that would be the one with the two ends on the sides of it. Might have one here. Hold on. On to other body jewelry. This little guy right here is called a nostril screw. So, has usually typically has a gem and a curvature on the side of it. So, nostril screw. And I can't find my belly button rings. I'm kind of sad now. 
because I had multiple of them, and I'm like, where, oh, where have these gone? That one's gone. Oh, where, oh, where could they be? Ah, I found them. These have been sterilized, so. This is called a curved barbell. Let me get a different one. This is called a curved barbell, not a banana. I've heard it, or a belly ring. It's called a curved barbell. Even if one end is bigger, it is still called a curved barbell. I'm sorry guys, this just irks me all the time. I hear people be like, ooh, nice gauges, and I'm just like, they're not gauges. Mm. <laughs> you know? And it just irks me, and people are like, oh my god, you're so rude. Why do you even care about proper terminology? Because I want to be a piercer. Because I really want to be a piercer. And if I use improper terminology, people are going to not come to my shop. You know? The silicone will not go in my fucking ear. Come on! Yeah. Oh well. On to the haul! First thing I picked up was these two patches. Cupid Psycho and Humid Scare Me because who likes to be normal? And I don't really identify as a human. Just me. No, no hate. I got some fake septum rings, that one I made, but also got these clear silicone eyelets. Which this one will not go back in my ear, but oh, I got a pin that says yes on it. Probably making Jack's films cringe right now. And a Clotta septum clicker. Now, I don't have my septum pierced at the moment, this is fake, but um, I will have it pierced soon sooner or later, so. There we go. Got some lipsticks from Hot Topic. And there it goes. And these I can't actually wear because they're acrylic, and I kind of was a dumbass, and I didn't check first, but I got in these, and these, and these, but they're all acrylic, so I have to take them back. But I will show you guys once after I'm done taking this back. Oh, I also got this little foxy. Isn't it cute? Yeah, so that's my haul, and um... That's my help. So, see you guys later.